Well, he's a pastor and a healing evangelist who was literally snatched from death's doorstep when God used Catherine Coleman to heal him of brain cancer. And today, he's passionate about helping people unlock their faith to receive God's miracle in their lives. So please welcome with us, Pastor Billy Burke. Hey, Doug, good to meet you. Good to meet you, sir. Hey, Johnny. Good to see you. Well, I told Doug you have uh -oh. such an incredible story. I mean, it really is an amazing story. I know we've shared it. Um, in fact, when you're on Table Talk, a lot of people heard your story, didn't they? Right, right. So, but I never get tired of hearing. It's amazing. It, yeah. It's, uh, I don't think any of us go too far from our testimony. Mm. Yeah. I think we stayed close to that in some way, but yeah, it's, when I look back upon it, it's like, how did that all happen? Yeah. And then you can begin to understand providence, God's mm. orchestration. Oh no, yeah, what he heals you through, he often uses you to heal others of. Yeah. Yeah. But I never tried to meet her, didn't know that she was who she was. Mm -hmm. Wasn't anything orchestrated by me. But you were like nine, right? I, I mean, was like, nine. I mean. Yeah. 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 Okay, well you take us it. back to the, if you will, when you were diagnosed at nine years of age. Yeah, it was a sudden, it was a sudden thing. It just happened suddenly. You know, my eyes went blind, double. Uh, the pain became excruciating. Mm -hmm. Diagnosed with terminal brain cancer, it spread into my lungs, into my back, and uh, I was uh, rushed to the hospital. It was an immediate thing that oh, had wow. to take place, and so my grandmother, who was an avid listener to the Catherine Kuhlman radio broadcast, thank God. Yeah, none of us. <laughs> I mean, at that time, I didn't know who she was. Yeah. We were attending a, a Christian Missionary Alliance mm -hmm. church, so we knew that you prayed for the sick, but we never saw open manifestation. Sure. Never seen one person fall down in church. Right. That's how I grew up. Mm -hmm. And uh, so long story short, I was taken to the hospital that was on the operating table 18 hours. Mm. And this was 1962. Wow. So now, did you have an experience before the surgery? I did. So tell oh, that, because I think that's important. I, I never, I didn't, this I have never told publicly, but this was uh, an incredible part of it. It'll be in my book. There's a book coming out in, Great. The, in the fall. But, um, I was in the hospital there, and they, the doctors had just come in with my family and prepared me for, it was a grave moment. Mm -hmm. Told me how dangerous it was, and you know, anything I wanted to say to them, I had to say to them tonight, mm -hmm. that kind of a thing. And so it was pretty, looking back at it, I just don't know how that would serve all the, all the HIPAA hour. laws to, sure. today, you know. But um, when everybody left, I was in the room alone. And my window was open, and for, the old Forbes Field was still there. So the mm. Pittsburgh Pirates were playing that night. Mm. I could hear the game, and I was just laying there, and I just heard all this stuff. And I thought, I just, you know, I don't want to die. Right. I don't feel like dying today. Right. Who feels like dying today? Right. Not at nine. I mean, we all, we all want to go to heaven. Right. But not today. Right, right, exactly, right? exactly. So, and... Um, Everybody left. I was listening to the ball game. Just, just this wave of presence came over mm. me. And I grabbed both guardrails on the hospital bed. Mm -hmm. And I screamed as loud as I could. Mm. I don't want to die. Amen. I don't want to die. Dear Jesus, I don't want to die. Mm. I, I didn't know many Bible verses, maybe one or two. Mm -hmm. Jesus wept and for God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to die. It's all I know. I didn't want to. And this cry mm. left me. Mm. The moment that cry left me, this is as true as I can tell mm -hmm. it, a light filled the whole room. Wow, praise the Lord. Just a really, it had to be some aura because mm -hmm. it wasn't natural. Mm -hmm. And it just gave me this peace mm -hmm. that I was, it was going to be okay. Peace of passes understanding. Exactly, Doug, exactly. Congratulations, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, you made it. We're, we're having a great time. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Not to interrupt this miracle no story, but there's moment. another go one ahead, sitting right here. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, and, and so I went through the surgery. They couldn't remove nearly half of it, mm -hmm. and it was really bad. And I was, I awoke in an oxygen tent. Mm -hmm. That's, you don't hear yeah, those I today. That. Yeah, I remember I was that. packed in ice, and uh, and... My grandmother came around the side and pulled open the plastic. And all I knew was I was in a lot of pain. Uh. They couldn't break the fever. Mm -hmm. And I was cold in this mm -hmm. ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she came around and she whispered and she stuck her head right in the tent. Mm -hmm. And she said, I'm getting you out of here. And I'm taking you down to the lady I listened to. That's mm -hmm. what she said. And her name is Catherine Coleman. She's on the radio. And she is going to touch you. 
Mm -hmm. I thought, well, I didn't know her. I didn't know anything my grandmother was saying. I'd never heard that But you that knew your name. grandmother. Yeah. You knew she loved you. She was, she was the person. She gave you faith. Like, she, gave, that, she planted that a seed, Doug, that, that's missing today. Amen. Plant it's, that seed. Go ahead and plant that seed. She planted that seed of expectation. Mm -hmm. Okay, because a lot of people today get prayers without expecting anything to take place. Mm. And we get addicted to being, being prayed for, being oil, yeah, yeah, even being on. slain. Mm -hmm. But without expecting that something can really change. Amen. You know, and uh, so she planted that seed. I was uh, dismissed the next day. I was taken home on a Monday. So for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the service was Friday. My grandmother, every chance she got, because I couldn't eat normal. Sure, sure. Uh, morphine didn't help any of the pain. Wow. They were soaking towels mm. in ice water to try to relieve the mm. pain from mm. me. And so she'd come in, and every moment she had, these words would come out of her mouth. When she... Mm. Touches you know when she touches you. So it was repeated you. expectations. Oh, it was all. It was for four days. It got to the point where I just didn't want to hear it. Yeah, yeah. Because it was just. I sad. believe you. I believe you. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But she was pounding that. Mm -hmm. Praise you know, God. That, that repetition. Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean that's what breaks the yoke is Amen. steady pressure. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sudden Amen. pressure don't always break a yoke. Mm -hmm. Yokes are strong. That's why mm -hmm. they're yokes. Yeah. But the steady pressure Amen. will break a yoke. Any yoke. Amen. A drug yoke, a sickness yoke, mm -hmm. whatever, you know, whatever. And so for those four days, it was just constant, repeated, constant. Well, Friday was the service. Mm -hmm. So we get to downtown. Well, the place was packed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Couldn't get in the church. Because mm -hmm. all of Catherine Kuhlman's services, they would oh. line up. And well, they most, were out on 6th yeah. Avenue. So and most of the people, a lot of them couldn't even get in. So couldn't get in. You show up and you're in a wheelchair. We couldn't get in. We so, I mean, it's even more difficult, right? right? We couldn't even get in the door. So mm. we just, I was out on the street. And uh, I thought, I just told my grandma, let's go home. I'm in pain. I don't want to be mm. here. She said, no, just just, just wait. Well, at, a, at that moment, a nasher on the side of this Presbyterian church, mm. it's a red door, still there today. Mm -hmm. This mm. red door, this usher, for whatever reason, we know what that is. Mm -hmm. His eyes fall on her. Mm -hmm. And he says to her. Yeah, you. Yeah. And she said, to me, I told you, I, I told you that you were going to get in. Mm -hmm. I said, get in. So all that trouble mm -hmm. to get me through that crowd and in that side door. Mm -hmm. Well, there's the stairway right up to the balcony. And they said, we're going to get you up here. Well, uh, I was up in the balcony, and I began to watch, you know, what Miss Coleman, sure. we called her Miss Coleman. Nobody called her Catherine mm -hmm. in that day. And um, I just began to watch. I was like, what is this? I was mm -hmm. fascinated. Sure. Because I had a patch over my eye. I could see with one eye. And I just began to watch what we see almost as normal today. Mm -hmm. Then was, it wasn't normal, but it was, it was powerful. Yeah, well. And in that quick, in the atmosphere changed, and she pointed up to me, and she said, you are being healed of cancer. Get down here. Well, as, as soon as she said that, I screamed really loud, mm -hmm. no, I'm not coming. I couldn't, mm -hmm. I couldn't talk real well, mm -hmm. all right, because I'd just been through mm -hmm. all I'd been through. And she said, I said, down here. You know, that's how she talked. And I said, no. <laughs> and the next words out of her mouth was, ushers, get them. Go get that boy. Mm -hmm. Well, Norm and Donnie, Norm became a very good friend later That's in beautiful. life, but Norm and Donnie came into the balcony, mm -hmm. and they came over, and they said to my grandma, and they said, uh, Mrs. Coleman wants him. She said, take, take him. <laughs> right, right. And grandma they, was all on board. They were take all him, there. Take yeah, yeah. They took me down, and I remember they walked me down, because I couldn't move. I just mm -hmm. couldn't balance. Mm -hmm. And they took me down in front of her, and she... Uh, she came and she just said to me, what's your name? And I told her, and she said, I want to know one thing, only one thing from you. And I said, what? And she said, do you believe? That's all Amen. I want to know. Come on, come on. And I said, yeah. And then she turned around to walk away. And I thought, boy, that was easy. Mm -hmm. But she spun as quick as she turned. Mm -hmm. And she said, I said, do you believe? Mm, come on. And man, it just went through me. Mm. You know, that something was the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. And when she went, this is so amazing. This is what, if, if, if any of you are listening, don't ever underestimate somebody planting a seed mm. in you mm. to expect something. Amen. It's not a seed of false hope. It's a seed of expectancy. And that's why miracles have to be worked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, one of the gifts isn't miracles. It's mm -hmm. the working of miracles. Come on. A miracle has Come to on. be worked. Why does it have to be worked? Because mm. people aren't expecting it at the mm -hmm. time. Why does yeah. it have to fill the water pot with water? Just make it wine. 
Mm -hmm. You're Jesus. Right. Why go wash in the pool and use mud and spit? Come just, on. Just heal him. He's going to preach right now. Yeah, he's all good. Right. But, but I'm saying, why do all that? Yeah, amen. Because expectation needs amen. to be built. Yes, sir. And um, so I, so when, I, when, when her hand touched me, I could hear my grandmother's voice. It was when Catherine's hand. Mm -hmm. There was her voice. When she, and when that hand hit me, it was the lights Ooh. out. Four rows went with me. Four Ooh. rows in First Presby. All on, all on the, on so the you field. went in four rows of people went out under the right with of me. God. Wow. Right with me. And I, I mean, but I see the thing about this was I didn't fall to get up. Right. See, there's a waiting, <laughs> there's, there's a waitingness to the anointing if yeah, you let amen. it, if amen. you want, if you want it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know any better. Right. So this was kind of a sovereign thing. Mm -hmm. But today, so many people fall to get up, mm -hmm. you know, and the idea is like, if you're down there, I mean, there's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. You know, we, I mean, it's a mystery. We don't mm -hmm. really fully understand mm -hmm. that. But if you're going to go on a trip somewhere, you know, Lord, that's why I teach people. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, what do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. I'm coming back with Amen, something. Amen, Jesus. And um, so, so I came up, but I couldn't move. My, I'm on this marble floor mm -hmm. of the Presbyterian Church, and I, I just, I couldn't move. I just couldn't move. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I died. <laughs> I thought I died and that lady came with me. That's what I thought. And I thought, this is a bad day. That's what, exactly what I thought. I thought, I'm more afraid now than I was when I came here. Because I couldn't move. I was just paralyzed, mm -hmm. frozen, whatever word you want mm -hmm. to use. And she just said, oh, look at this boy. Look at this boy. This is Billy. This is young Billy. Mm -hmm. And they, she said, bring him up. And I was like, so I was really groggy. And she said, I think you need one more touch. I said, no, I'm okay. <laughs> I, I don't, because it scared me. Sure, sure, sure. I've sure. never had that happen. Mm -hmm. And then she said, anybody in here with cancer, anybody in here with blood disease, mm -hmm. anybody in here, get out of here, get around here. Come now, get around here. Well, I could hear the shuffling. Mm -hmm. I, I just was not you know, that oriented. Mm -hmm. Well, boom, then I go the second time. She said, bring him up. She said, get that patch off your eye. I said, no, no, you don't understand. She said, no, you don't understand. Get that patch off Come your on. eye. I said, no, I said, I have double vision. I said, I, and sometimes I'm blind. She said, either you take that patch off or I'm taking that patch off. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, who is this woman mm -hmm. my grandmother brought me to? Mm -hmm. I still wasn't getting it. Yet here I am walking. Mm -hmm. Here I am when that patch, I picked it up, I flipped it. I didn't mm -hmm. take it off. I flipped it off and my eyes had gone straight. Wow, praise God. And I was like, well, my eyes are straight. Mm -hmm. I could have walked. The place was going crazy. Mm -hmm. I still didn't grasp what had happened. I knew what went through me, though. See, mm -hmm. that's the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, we, we, we got to be careful with this. I, I know we walk by faith. I know mm -hmm. we don't live by feeling. Yeah, amen. But I do know we still have a soul. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we're still, you know, everything today is feeling-oriented. Drugs are feeling-oriented. Pornography is feeling-oriented. Mm -hmm. Alcohol's feeling oriented. There's nothing too much out there. So we don't want to say to people, all that feeling stuff is out there, come in here, and there's no feeling. That's not true. I mean, when, they, when he spoke, they felt the burning in their heart. Mm -hmm. uh, when the woman touched him, as the Bible says, she felt what went through her mm -hmm. in Mark 5. So th there, there is a feeling if you allow yourself, the Holy Spirit, can move just through you, spirit to spirit, mm -hmm. or he can move through people, through you, and you can have an experience, a visitation. Amen. That's what I was having. Amen. But I hadn't been taught that. Sure, sure, sure. So I didn't know what all this was. Yeah, it, was a, it was a radiating. It would just go, a radiating. Mm -hmm. Well, I still had a lot of cancer in me. You know, I want you to continue that, but I really feel like right now there's just a, yeah, there's a special anointing right now. for healing for right, right now. now. You mm. feel the presence of God here. There's we some of you that you need a miracle, and yeah. you know what that is. It may be physical, it may be emotional, it may be spiritual. I don't know what it is, but I want you to go to the phone right now and call mm -hmm. and just give us your first name mm -hmm. and say, that's me. Pray for me. We're going to pray for all the prayer requests before we leave the air today, but I really do believe that God is going to touch you in a supernatural Amen. way right Amen. now Amen. as you reach out. And like, mm -hmm. like Billy was talking about, it's the working of miracles. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, Good. you can sit there and receive, but there's just something about a point of contact saying, hey, I'm, I want you to come in agreement with me Amen. for a miracle today. So go to the phone right Beautiful. now. Billy, I want to share something real yeah, quick. Yeah, go ahead. You know, um, 
right now, you know, what Billy shared is some of you need a re-expectation. That's good. You expected something That's good. years ago or months ago That's good. or yesterday. You need to re-expect it because God wants to expect it in your life. That's good. He wants you to be free. He wants you to be healed. He wants you to be delivered right now. He wants you to expect that he can do it. So I want you right now to say, Lord, I re-expect this miracle. Very good. And then you call the prayer people and you tell them that you re-expect it and you let them agree with you to re-expect it until you get it. That's good. This really felt someone need to hear that word. That is good. That's the reset button. That's exactly right. Push the reset button. That's good. Okay, so finish the story. There you are. You're still wondering. Well, yeah, real quickly, I mean, when when I got up, I still had cancer lumps all over my back. Mm -hmm. When I left the meeting that day, I mean, I was walking, I was seeing, you know, no pain. Mm-hmm. I went, but, but I had a lump, and so she wanted to see me the next day. And so we went down, and she said, no, young Billy, she said, those lumps will stay until you testify publicly for the first time. When you testify publicly, those lumps will go. Wow. So Very even nice. though she wasn't known for prophetic, that's mm-hmm. kind of... Well, that's a prophetic gift. It's kind of prophetic, yes. you know, so... So, so my grandmother kept saying, so did you, hear what, <laughs> did you hear what she said? I said, I don't want to tell anybody. She said, did you hear what she said? And so now she, she's going to get on me over That's right, this. right. First the whole next on, week, yeah, when, when yeah. you stand up, God's going to heal you, right? So she, I, she arranged this. It was a camp meeting with the CMA in Camp Mahaffey, mm-hmm. it's called. I don't know if you know that. But So I, we went to this camp. Well, the, the leader, the, there was straw on the floor and benches. Mm-hmm. And, and they said, Billy Burke's here. He just had an encounter with the Holy Spirit, and he wants to tell us about it. And I'm thinking, I don't want to tell anybody about this. But so I went up on the platform, and I said, I told as much as I could mm-hmm. understand. Mm-hmm. And after I finished that story, you know, the, my grandmother had somebody come up, and I had a T-shirt on. And she said, lift up that T-shirt. Every lump. Wow. Praise you, Jesus. Wow. Praise you, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. We're made overcomers by the word. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Johnny, he'll confirm it. Yeah. We got to take mm-hmm. that step. We have to push boundaries. Mm-hmm. See, not everybody may have a grandmother mm-hmm. like I had, or maybe there's not, of course, there's not a Catherine Coleman. We know it's a different mm-hmm. day and all that. But, but you got to push a boundary of your feeling, of mm-hmm. diagnosis, of your age. Yeah, but he, but he was, it sounds like God was, he was actually, through your grandmother, increasing expectation and faith, mm-hmm. right? But then when you stepped out and you shared what God has done for you, yeah, yeah, he yeah. completed it. He, so he wasn't just healing you. He yeah. was calling you to a ministry. Oh, come and on. There's now, a lot God. of people right now who, is who, haven't shared, guy? <laughs> who have not shared what God has done Where'd for you them. Get this guy? There's, there's people right now. You've not shared what God That's has done good. for you. I want you to call your mom. That's I want good. you to call your friend and say you got saved. Say you got healed. Say you got delivered. That's good. Call the prayer people here at Daystar. Put that thing in your cell phone because you got to tell somebody what God has done That's for good. you. Because what God heals you from, he will allow you to heal others mm-hmm. you know and you but now well, you have that ministry now right i mean you pray well, we're seeing a lot yes. of great stuff we really we, i mean we're seeing a blow your mind stuff well Amen. i see the, the phone lines are jammed right now so i know a lot of you can't get through what about i know oral roberts used to but they do can this, leave a message but, but they this can leave a message. yeah but this came to me while i was sitting here is that oral roberts used to say just put your hand mm-hmm. where the where the tv mm-hmm. is right would you TV. just pray do for that, really. love people to. instruct people right now those that can't get through especially because all the lines are jamming there's no way a lot of people can get through i mean continue to try to get through and get get your name in but just to speak to those people watching right now yeah you're out there if you just put your hands forward into on towards mm-hmm. the television long before the prayer comes your way audibly the Holy Spirit's already honoring. Amen. He's already honoring your reach. Bless that expectation. Oh, my. Oh, my. I mean, the prodigal was walking home, but the father was running. The father was running as the prodigal was walking, meaning the moment God sees a signal from you Come on. that, like Doug said, you're pushing that reset button. You're saying, I want to, I want to, be, I want to expect again. I, yes, I, I did it and I lost yes, it, Jesus. but now I want to expect again. Yes, you know, Jesus. God's a God of intervention. Listen to me, it's never too late for him to touch you. It's never too late for him to hear your cry, whatever mm-hmm. it may be. And there's many being healed right now with fibroids, on, fibroid Jesus. tumors. Many, many cancers are being wonderfully touched. Thank you, Jesus. PSA numbers are dropping. Breast cancer, brain Five cancer, issues. lung cancer, yeah. all those cancers being wonderfully touched by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, People Lord. with Lyme's disease Indeed. being wonderfully healed. Thank you, Jesus. People in wheelchairs even now beginning to experience feeling and sensation mm-hmm. in your legs, in your feet. There's a leukemia healing that is wonderfully touching. Call that number. Call the Daystar 
hotline right there, that prayer line. There's someone waiting to yes. touch you, pray with you, agree with your faith that God's going to do it and see you through the whole way. Amen. Of course, you can go to uh, daystar.com and click on prayer. Send mm -hmm. your prayer request in that way. See, so we have, uh, of course, availability to do that as well. But the lines are completely jammed right now. But you mm. know what? Yay! The thing about it is well, we that want that, right? Yay! We I want jammed do. lines all day. We call do. all day. Yeah. Call all night. <laughs> we do. And sorry, I get excited. Before. I know it's great. I love it. <laughs> I love it. But love the thing is, Jesus does stuff. The presence of God yeah. is so tangible here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a neat thing about television. You can actually capture the anointing That's amazing. on television. That's amazing. So people can watch this later, Billy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the presence of God will enter that room where they are. Amen. They How many times to. have you seen that happen as well? I've seen that happen so much. I mean, we had one girl in Toronto, she had uh, throat cancer. Her voice box was eaten away, Oksana, mm. her name. And she, uh, she came to me, she's a Russian girl, can hardly speak English. And uh, she came to the meeting, God touched her. Of course, she went, was slain, touched all that. But it, it was 11 visits mm. on the 11th. She just wouldn't quit. Mm -hmm. She kept that pressure on that. Right, come on, come on. And so many, you know, I just want to say, don't quit. Don't give up. It's easier to give up. It's easy to get an attitude. It's easy to get angry because you may be comparing your story with somebody else's story. And we don't always know. There's so many different ingredients involved in all these different breakthroughs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there is surgery. Sometimes there is more nutrition. Sometimes there is a little more exercise. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's so many things involved today with today's medicine, with homeopathic treatments. But the, this, the, the healing power is connected to the name of Jesus, Amen. to the scripture, you know, that, that, that blood covenant. Keep that, keep that supplement. No matter what, my grandmother always taught me, anytime you take an aspirin, in the name. <laughs> she said, she, I, I, I love your grandmother. <laughs> I, I caught her taking a blood pressure pill. She, we never hey. seen that. So I, I kind of said, man, what was that? She said, I know you saw me, boy. She said, that was a blood pressure pill. But she said, anytime you take that, you say, in the name of Jesus. You let nothing go into your body without in the name. She amen. was from that school, amen, you know. Amen. And uh, we laughed about it afterwards. And... Uh, because the thing I'm amazed about is this. Here's what Revelation hit not long ago. None of us ever gave her a dime, Catherine. Hmm. Our family, we weren't yeah. that well off or whatever, but my grandmother may have donated 10 bucks or five bucks or something, mm -hmm. but we was never supportive financially. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself recently, I was in a meeting, I was taking an offering. Somebody had to pay for her yeah, amen. to be there. Yeah, that's what me. our partners do every day. Yeah, and so all of the partners of Daystar, I mean, you just have no idea when you make those contributions, when you fulfill those pledges, mm -hmm. you're putting this, this, this satellite, this signal into people's laps, into their homes, into their cell phones, on a park bench that don't have the wherewithal to, to be a contributor. So you are actually putting them right into a mm -hmm. position Amen. for an That's amazing true. miracle. That's true. Yeah. You know, did you ever hear the healing story, Betty Baxter? Betty Baxter. Do you remember? I, I do remember the incredible name. Incredible healing story, but it was it was a it was a miracle, just incredible. But um, I remember one time she said something, and it kind of jogged my memory when you were talking, that um, the Lord healed her. I mean, she was a complete invalid. Her yeah. spine was crooked. Mm. I mean, she had organs in the wrong place. Wow. Jesus walked in the room and put everything back. Yeah, yeah, and she, yeah. it, was, it was a great, great, great miracle story. But um, God would use her later like he uses you mm -hmm, in praying mm -hmm, for people mm -hmm. in miracle crusades. But she said, I remember there would be one man that came to this particular city that had been in a motorcycle accident and he was paralyzed and he would come in his wheelchair and she would pray for him every year and every year he'd come back. and. And he never got healed. And she said, I remember the last time that I prayed for him, I asked him, um, now, if God heals you, are you willing to surrender your life mm. and, mm, and walk in mm -hmm. what he's called you to do? That's a big and she said, I remember he looked at me and said, well, no, I'm mm -hmm. not, I can't, I don't know. I, I don't know what he might ask me to do and I'm not going to make that commitment. Right. And I remember she tied that to it and I just, I really felt like there are people watching mm -hmm. that God wants to heal you and touch you. Mm -hmm. But beyond he that, he's got more. John, you're hitting a real nerve with this. This is, this is the reason why a lot of people don't get a manifestation. You know, back in the Old Testament, when Hannah was, couldn't have the baby, I mean, she tried to have that baby. But the moment she said, I'll, call, I'll give him back to you, 
Mm. Moment she did uh-huh. that, boom, she conceived. Amen. So he, and that baby was Samuel. Mm-hmm. So God didn't want to put a major prophet into a belly that wasn't going to guarantee it was mm. coming back to him. And so that whole yeah. surrender thing, I really think is That's something good. important for you, not to only receive what God's doing for you right mm-hmm. now, but for you to say to the Lord, mm-hmm. God, in you doing mm-hmm. this, I surrender everything to you mm-hmm. and I will do whatever mm-hmm. you've called me to do. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it, Billy, is that mm-hmm. people think God's going to ask them to do something they don't enjoy mm-hmm. doing. Right. He, right. he won't he do that. He, he deals with the gifts that he's put on the inside Amen. of us. And, and, and it will be something desirous. Mm. It, the Bible Amen. says that if we delight ourselves in him, he'll give us the desires mm. of our Amen. heart. So how important is that for people watching right now to not only receive healing, oh my. but to also surrender their life? I, I have a story. I mean, I was in a church and there was a guy way in the back of the church and I, I didn't see him because he had his head on the pew. And I said, sir, are you back? I mean, God's touching you. He's healing you. He said, me? I said, yeah, you. But when he got up, I didn't realize he was so crippled. He could hardly stand. He had, he had to hook the braces to his mm. arms and get his legs re- in braces. And he was like a mechanical man. Mm. And I thought, oh, Lord. And I thought right away, if I'd have known he was that bad, would I have called him? <laughs> I actually thought that. I thought, why did I call this guy up here? Oh, no, you're on, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. And he, he took a long time to get up mm. there. And I, he came up to the front, and I said to him, so how are you doing today? He said, well, as you can see, this is how I live. And he said, I would love a miracle. I said, you mm. would? I said, what would you do with it? Come on. What would you do with it? He said, I would run up to Walmart. And I would run up and down every aisle in Walmart. And I would mm. tell the people, look what Jesus has done. Come on. Well, I didn't know it, but the super Walmart was the only thing big in that city. Mm. And he evidently had hung out mm-hmm. there. They knew him. Sure, sure. They, they knew him, what he was like. And I said, so you would do that? He said, I'd run up and down every aisle. Mm. I said, well, then go do it. And I just went, I just, it Amen. was just too much for me to conceive. Sure. Well, the braces came off and he went under the power. And I just, it, was, it happened so quick. Mm-hmm. Well, he jumped up without any braces. And he ran around the church. Well, that was good enough for me. Yeah, right. I was like, oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. He ran around the first time. Then he ran around the second time. Well, the Mm -hmm. place is just going crazy. You can imagine. It's on fire. And so then he runs around the second. Third time, he ran around and ran out the back door. And he he kept his word. Guess where he went? Walmart. He kept his word. Guess who was in church that next day and the Mm -hmm. day after that? People at the church. Walmart Walmart. church. Oh, I love that. (laughs) When I tell that story, that's a one story. But it it is true. You have to share the testimony that Jesus has. The purpose. The purpose for God touching you. Yes. Amen. You know, some of you, you, you're like, you've had some miracles. You need to share that. But some of you are like, you know what? I don't know this Jesus uh, I need to, and I want you just to say this prayer with me because I can feel the Holy Spirit's touching your heart. It feels warm. I want you to say, Jesus, forgive me. Come into my life. I give you everything. I trust you with everything. That's good. And I will tell wow. what you've done in yeah. Jesus' name. And if you've made that prayer today, call the number. Let someone know we have a book for you. Now what? And that can help you. And we really want you to walk with Jesus. Really want you. I mean, it's, it's fun to walk with Jesus. Oh, my. Now, it's a little unnerving at times when it, it you is. Know, right? But it's fun. <laughs> it is. It is. It well, is. If he's really in charge, it's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really, if, if we knew what a miracle, how a miracle was going to play out, we, what, how would we, we wouldn't even right. do it. Yeah. Well, you know what? I really appreciate you sharing that story. I love it every time I hear it, and it does build faith. Mm-hmm. People, the lines are still jammed. But we want to pray for all the people that have yes. called in, all the people that are calling in, all the people that will call in. Mm-hmm. You're going to be included in this prayer as well. So, Billy, lead us in prayer as we leave the Amen. Today. And Holy Spirit, we pray for each person represented yes. here yes. and for the whole family. We pray your mighty power, that anointing of healing. Yes. Because of Calvary, because of everything that Jesus suffered for, he just didn't die. He suffered. Oh, we honor that suffering today. And we release this healing power of the Holy Spirit into these bodies. Let pain begin to leave now. Let eyes and ears open. Let limbs become limbo again. Every growth, tumors, and cysts disappear. Cancel surgeries. Oh, God, we ask you now for a a grace. We ask you now for a mercy to fall on these people and many more who didn't write it down, but who are sitting, watching, and listening. 
Oh God, touch them even now. Give them a sign. Let ears an ear pop open. Let yes, eyes God. suddenly be clear. Yes, Jesus. Oh, there's so many eyes that are just getting more clear vision. We thank you and we give you such Amen. glory and such praise in Jesus' name. Amen.